what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here uh so happy new year first of all to start off the new year i thought i would kick it off with a brand new jeepers creepers video uh so i know i had told you guys previously i would start doing more jeepers creepers content i do want to keep that uh going forward i want to try to do as many jeepers creepers videos as i can do but what i need from you guys is to come comment down in the comment section below some ideas that i can do for videos that you would like to see and get my thoughts and opinions on regarding this franchise so to get into the topic of today's video um i wanted to discuss the original opening of jeepers creepers 3 and when i'm saying the original opening of jeepers creepers 3 i'm referring to the original film that we never got the film that we all waited for for so long jeepers creepers cathedral um so in the beginning of that script the script of jeepers creepers cathedral uh, as we all know that was the movie that was supposed to be set 23 years after the first two uh we were supposed to pick up in the barn with the taggarts and everything uh the film was going to do that but not exactly so initially the opening scene of jeepers creepers 3 in the cathedral script and those that i have sent this script to they can attest to this and confirm uh what i'm saying uh and if you would like the script for jeepers creepers cathedral just leave your just, just leave an email uh in the comment section below leave your email in the comment section i will email you a copy of the script uh but essentially in the opening what is it what it is it's it's the creeper in the wild wild west and i recall back in the day there was some interviews victor salva had where he kind of discussed this this topic because the creeper does kind of resemble um a, an old he has like an old western disguise to him like he's from the wild wild west kind of uh, so what happens in the opening of the cathedral script is the it's in the uh, it's at nighttime and the creeper is going into or what appears to be a man rather is going into a into a bar. Uh, he he doesn't make a sound. He sits down. He's cloaked in darkness. He has a hat on. Uh, I believe he has on a, a coat that he came. He he comes in riding on a horse uh, and a carriage of dead bodies is behind him. Uh, he sits down in the bar and the bartender asks him what what will his pleasure be and being the creeper and i guess them retconning what happened in the first movie when they had where they had dialogue of him speaking to Derry, he doesn't speak anymore the creeper apparently is unable to speak or at least as far as we know he's unable to speak uh so when the bartender asked the creeper what his pleasure would be because at this point they think it's a man he's saying the creeper makes nothing makes no sound he doesn't utter anything no no words come out of his mouth so now everybody in the uh bar is kind of put off by him because he looks he looks menacing he's covered in darkness he doesn't look like he's all there he's not talking now uh but what does happen is he starts making like these growling noises and the bartender is thrown off by that uh i think what ends up happening also if i'm recalling correctly from the script uh the the other participants that are in the bar they think that he's trying to tell the bartender that he stinks the bartender takes offense to this and then what happens is uh of course us knowing how the creeper operates we know that he's sniffing he's making those he's making these sniffing noises because he's trying to to sniff out uh what what in the area he likes as far as like the fear is concerned and what he what body part he would like to take based off of what he is doing with this um amazing sense of his that allows him to detect fear in others and uh he goes about you know doing all his killing uh but the bartender takes offense to that he thinks this man is trying to tell him that he stinks so what happens is he ends up trying to start a fight with the creeper the creeper is so fast though i think what ends up happening is his head gets gets chopped off or he slit his throat with something um and then next thing we know there's a bar fight that ensues there's a young boy named jason involved uh the creeper has his battle axe he's he's taking out other members of the of the bar who are trying to i guess from what i was reading from the script i'm assuming they're trying to come at him it's like an old western bar fight opening it's very the way that it all it would it would have looked so good on screen if they would have had this if jeepers creepers cathedral ever saw the light of day this would have been the best opening out of any jeepers creepers film hands down what ends up happening is the creeper gets into a bar fight he kills some other people he chops two individuals heads off and then what it comes down to is there's a father and a son uh the young boy named jason and his father are, are huddled over in a corner uh i think there's another individual named hobbs 
but they're huddled in a corner and the creeper walks over to them and what he ends up doing is he kind of like motions to them to uh slide him this hat that's on the floor and then there's also a coat uh, when he picks the coat up, it looks familiar to us as the audience because this is, in fact, his signature coat that we've been seeing him rock from the first two films. So now we're seeing where he got his coat from. He got it from a bar fight. And then also what I think this is kind of alluding to is a reference. I think this also has has like a mild reference or might have been inspired from a from a few tidbits from Jeepers Creepers 2 where they were talking about one of the characters named Izzy got into a bar fight. Well, now we know that the creeper has his done has done his fair share of has done his fair share of violence in bars as well uh but that was the original opening of jeepers creepers 3 cathedral it opened at night in a, in a western town setting the creeper rides in on a horse in a saloon he goes into a bar he's hidden and shrouded in darkness they all think he is a person until he starts fighting them and taking them out and his facial features are exposed they come to realize that this is in fact an animal uh, of of course by all these noises he's making that's not something a, a human would make but that was a cool opening to me um i thought that would have been a great thing to see on screen if cathedral ever got made uh i'm i'm still hoping that if they do the fourth movie they can include this change it up a bit because of course the cathedral script is online for anyone to enjoy and read uh but then also some unfortunate news is that jeepers creepers 4 as of right now victor salva apparently isn't doing anything with the project nothing is going on with it there's no movement on it as far as i know the last person i had talked to who had information on it was someone who was originally going to be participating in the cathedral film at the time when it was called cathedral they have connections to victor salva they talked to victor salva they sent me screenshots of things that victor salva said he was not actually doing anything with the film at this point in time no movement is going on with jeepers creepers 4 right now unfortunately uh, take that take that how you want I know for a fact it's credible the individual sent me text with the name Victor Salva and I know anyone can have a name Victor Salva but this individual was in fact participating in Jeepers Creepers Cathedral he he disclosed several information he is very credible uh, you want to believe me you can if you don't want to believe me you don't have to uh, but yes unfortunately as of right now nothing's going on with Jeepers Creepers 4 sadly uh let me know what you guys think about the opening of the original cathedral script that we could have potentially gotten for jeepers creepers 3 what do you think about that opening would you have liked to have seen that uh what do you think should happen with the jeepers creepers franchise going forward because really honestly i think victor salva needs to get give it up to somebody if anyone is out if anyone is willing to take this project or take this property from him i think it would be in his best interest uh, maybe not his best interest but if he wants to do anything or wants to see anything get done with this project with this property and this character i think that is what would be best uh, but let me know what you guys think about it down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts on my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video